you know, some, some girls want to grow up and be blonde. Some girls want to grow up and have red hair. And I'm sure blondes grow up and want to have black hair or dark hair or just different hair. Don't we all want to have different hair at times or different colors, different styles, things that you probably normally would not do to yourself? Don't we all want to do that? Don't we all want to explore? Yeah, I know I do. And you know what? That's what the world of wigs gives me. The opportunity to explore different colors, different styles, to be like a different me when I want to be a different me. Just like skincare, it helps enhance our features, our looks, our skin, we take care of ourselves, makeup, you know, makes us look better or feel better. Uh, mascara for me, oh my gosh, I'd be nowhere without my mascara. Wigs are just another accessory. And so today I'm going to share with you this really different Monica. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to share with you this look because I want to and because it is so far out of my norm and I am sure that I do not do this wig justice at all. But I will tell you that if you have, you know, different skin tone than me or you just like to have different vibrant colors, this might be for you. Yeah. This is this is actually Cameron by John Renault in the color Chocolate Cherry. Chocolate Cherry, that sounds delicious. Kind of reminds me of stra chocolate strawberries. I love chocolate strawberries. Anyways, Chocolate Cherry. I received this wig complimentary to use, to review, not to keep, but complimentary from my good friend, Marlene Fabin Glam. Marlene, Marlene's wig and chat studio where she reviews her wigs. And Marlene Fabin Glam, where she talks about skincare, makeup, and does tutorials, and just is awesome because I think she does the most amazing eye looks. And every single wig I have ever seen her put on looks fabulous on her. Anyways, she sent me a number of different wigs so I could just play. And this is one of them. This is a hand-tied cap. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is Chocolate Cherry. It's kind of described as a black-brown with a lot of violet, medium red, violet blend, and bold highlights. I don't know. I am definitely seeing definitely seeing a dark sort of espresso color. I'm seeing some vibrant, a little bit of violet, but I do definitely see some bold reds in there blended throughout. I'm not too sure if the camera's picking any of it up, but this is just such a, I think it's just such a, a fun look. Now, I think I'm too pale to pull this off. I've even tried to put some bronzer on today to darken my skin tone up, but I think it probably washes my complexion out, so I'm sure I'm not doing it justice at all. But let me tell you, 100% hand tied. It has a left monofilament part, lace front. The lace front is really pretty. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but the lace front is just really pretty. It's very natural looking, and of course, the left monofilament part is just so realistic and when you have a hand tied cap it fits really good now I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to show you by my ears and you'll see my bio hair right here the ear tabs come down right to about here but if I was going to wear this I would be darkening my bio hair probably with uh, eyeshadow or something like that so that it doesn't look the difference isn't so stark the cap fits really good but it is a hand tied cap which is, I think, exquisite. So I'm gonna do a spin for you so you can see the back. I feel like, oh, I can't think of the name of the, um, the TV show. Is it Elvira? If this was longer, I would feel like, I think her name was Elvira. Anyway, she had the most gorgeous 
long hair. Maybe she was on a radio show when I saw it. I don't know. But anyways, I do feel like that. So is this not cute? I'll tell you, Jay does not like this on me. But I wanted to share this with you because I think, you know, us. Uh, I think if I had put maybe a darker foundation on or more of a bronzer, I think it'd probably look a little bit better. Or maybe even more darker, bolder eyes. But I just um, decided I would show what it looks like on the outside. So now I'm going to show you the other wig I got from Marlene. She sent me over one that's very similar to this, so hang on. Oh my gosh, so that was a quick change, right? So this is Aesthetica. This is Jameson in the very popular color Vogue. Vogue is actually sold out. I think, or on back order on some of the styles. So I'm not too sure if you can get Jameson right now in this color or not, but this is so, so pretty. And I'm going to hold up because I think these colors are very close. This is Chocolate Cherry right here. Chocolate Cherry in Cameron. So you can see. I think Cameron on me fell a little bit longer than Jameson does. So Jameson, let me give you a little information, some of the details on Jameson. This is actually called an espresso brown, which I think I totally agree with that, with some auburn and some violet mixed. I think this one is a little bit more evenly blended where probably the John Minot Chocolate Cherry is a little bit more vibrant as far as the blending is concerned. But I think this is just more evenly blended. It's a little bit longer on me, I believe. And it is really pretty. It's synthetic. It is moderate density, I would call it. I wouldn't call it low density, but it has a beautiful lace front. Really beautiful lace front. And again, I, I would... I would color and shade in my bio here by my ears if I was going to wear this because I'm a blonde and I'm gray. <laughs> so you're seeing my blonde and my gray. But I just think this is so pretty. I think out of the two, it would be really hard for me to decide which color I liked better. But I'm going to do a spin. Again, this is Jameson in Vogue by Aesthetica. This was lent to me by the very lovely Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. Marlene Fab and Glam. I love it. I just think this is so cute. So I just think it's really amazing that you can look at different colors and different styles and, and then decide which, if any, you like on yourself. So really cool. I love them both. What do you think? Let me know.